Today is October 4th. We're doing Eureka Math Lesson 2, Module 2. And we are going to estimate the product by using what we know about rounding and math facts. If we're trying to figure out a question like this, how many fourth and fifth graders do we have at Stockholmeyer? If I'm not like trying to make sure I have enough planners for everyone, I need to have an exact amount. If I just want to know about how much, could I estimate? Yeah. yeah. Remember, when we estimate, we want to be able to solve something quickly in our head. Okay. The tricky thing is, though, I can't see what's going on in your head. So you still have to write it down on paper. How might we do this? Well, about how many kids do we have in one fifth grade class? About 30. Okay, so we can think to ourselves, we have about 30 kids in each class. How many fifth grade classes are there? Five. There's six. Very good. And there's five fourth grade classes. So what's six plus five? Eleven. Eleven. But that's pretty close to ten classes, right? We have about ten classes each. And in each class, we have 30 kids. We could do that quickly in our head because we can think of this as three tens times one ten. What's three times one? Three. three. If I do ten times ten... That's in the what? Hundreds. So if I estimate in my head thinking, okay, there's about 30 kids in each class and there's about 10 classes, that's about 300 fourth and fifth graders. As you can see, even though we're writing down our thinking because Miss O can't do, use an x-ray and see inside your brain, but this math is a lot easier than doing, okay, well, I have 32 in room 50 and then 31 in room 51 and 32 in room 52 and 30 one in room 47 and 32 in room 48 and 32 in room actually I think there's only 31 in room 49 and then in fourth grade do you see how it's a lot easier to do this and say oh there's about 300 kids right that's why we estimate what we can do is we can use rounding to help us think about numbers in our head to solve it quickly okay so the directions say to round the factors to estimate the products start by writing down 456 times 52. That's the problem we want. Remember that when we use these wavy equal signs, it's not drawing waves, but it's just, you know, that's the symbol. It means about. It means we're estimating. We're going to be thinking things in our head, but I'll show you what you can think in your head and what you need to record, okay? If you're thinking in your head, you don't need to write it down, but you think in your head 456 is close to what number? That's pretty easy to think about. Maybe 500. It rounds to 500 if I round it to the nearest 100. Do you agree? Because the five tens, we need to make it soar. It's five or more. 42, on the other hand, if I round it to the nearest tens, the two is less, four or less, so we need to let it rest. So what would it be? 40. You're thinking that in your head, so you don't need to write it down. But for this case right now, write it down, okay? So then, on your paper, you would record that 456 times 42 is about, using those wavy equal signs, is about 500 times 40. You would need to write that down on your work, workbook or test paper. Then, you can take it from there. It's really easy. Then, that's the same thing as 500 times 4 what's? Tens. Tens. Very good. What's, what's 5 times 4? 20. If I have hundreds times tens, how many zeros is that? How many more zeros do I need to add? There's two hundreds and zeros. I mean two zeros and hundreds and one zero and tens. How many extra zeros is that? Three. three. Be careful. Some of us will get, get confused and think that that's one of the three zeros. Is it? No, because that's part of 20. I need to add three more zeros because hundreds times tens is thousands, which has three zeros. So my final estimate is 20,000. For this one, we can think in our heads 4,560 is pretty close to, if I just want, what is the biggest digit, what is the biggest unit that has value? Thousands. thousands. If I want to round it to the biggest unit, I have to round it to the thousands. So I can think in my head 5,460 is pretty close to 5,000, okay, and 42 is Pretty close to 40. So now I can think of this as 5 thousands times 4 tens. Again, what's 5 times 4? 20. 20, okay. And then over here I have thousands, and then I have times tens. What's thousands times 10? 10,000. How many zeros does 10,000 have? 4. So how many zeros do I need to add here? 
One, two, three, four. So 4,560 times 42, if I estimate it, using what I know about rounding and then basic math facts, is pretty close to 200,000. What about this one? 4,560 times 420. Well, what's the biggest unit that has value, again, in the first one? Four, it's the thousands. So if I round that to the thousands, what would it be? 5,000. What about 420? What's the biggest unit that has value this time? It's the hundreds place. Good. So if I round that to the hundreds, 420 is pretty close to 400. So now I have five thousands times four hundreds. Again, I can do five times four, which is? 20. Use what I know about math facts and multiplication facts, 20. Then I have thousands times hundreds. What's thousands times hundreds? It's 10,000s, isn't it? How many zeros are there in 10,000? Five. Count them. One, two, three, four, five. So how many zeros do we have to add? One, two, three, four, five. And then you add your commas. Be careful. A lot of people will think this zero is one of the five zeros. Turn and talk to your table group. Why is that zero not part of the five zeros? This is one way to estimate. Is this the only way? When you estimate, is there only one correct answer? No. You know... We rounded 13,205 to be pretty close to 10,000. Is it actually that close to 10,000? Isn't it closer? I'm going to do it in a different color. Isn't 13,205 closer to 13,000? Isn't, isn't that actually closer? And 880 is pretty close to 900. So couldn't we estimate it like that too? Then we would have to do 13 times... Nine. Can we do that? We don't know the math facts for that, but can we pretty quickly and pretty easily do 13 times 9? Yeah. What is 13 times 9? Well, 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 2 is? 11. So 13 times 9 is 117. And then we can see, well, over here it's 13,000, so there's three zeros, and 900, so there's two zeros. So our final answer should have how many zeros? How many zeros? Five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. So you can see, then we have 11,700,000. Do you see how that's quite different, actually, from 9 million? That's 2 million different. So you're 2 million off, right? Which one's a better estimate? The first one, 9 million, or 11,700,000? This one is actually better. We prefer this one because 13,000 is a lot closer than 10,000. So when you're estimating, sometimes you want to think, is it that much harder to get a pr more precise estimate? If it's not, then do it like this. Does that make sense? I can understand why some people would do this because you know these math facts in your head, but depending on what you're doing, you might want to get a closer estimate. Okay? Lydia.